Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush, and today we're talking about Ithaca Beer Companies, partly sunny. Now, Lush fans, I actually found this on the discount bin at my local establishment. Now, I decided to do some research on this, and I found virtually nothing. Now, um, I went to do some research on this. Now, Beer Advocate gave it a 78 score, which is okay, and I'm looking at my monitor right now. Now, the alcohol by volume is 4.90%, and the IBUs are unknown. Now, according to the bottle, it said it's a wheat ale brewed with special with spices. Excuse me. Now, information out there was very thin. Now, Rape Beer actually gave it a 48 overall and a 65 before the style. Now, according to Rape Beer, this particular beverage was retired. Now, what I gather is it's definitely a wheat beer. Now, according to commercial description, and I'm reading, it says, Partly sunny is an Ithaca-style interpretation of the classic Belgian wheat beer. It is hazy straw-colored wheat beer brewed with coriander and generous amounts of lemon zest. It is light, refreshing beer with subtle spicy start and a smooth citrus finish. I don't really say a whole lot, but um, I'll, I'll go with that. Now, Lush fans, this is the first review in the world, but unfortunately, this might be the only beer review in the world if this beer, def or this beverage, excuse me, definitely was discontinued. Now, on the box, I really didn't see anything. Now, I'm looking on the bottle, it says the spirit of the Finger Lakes, if it is in the Finger Lakes section, region of upstate New York. Now, um, it really don't go on anything else on the bottle. It says, um, best before June or July, but being discontinued, I'm not totally sure. Now, it also says on the bottle, there's a copyright of 2009, and that tells me one or two things. Either that was A, discontinued recently, or B, or this was actually produced in 2009. But Lush fans, we're going to find out right now. Now, um, there's actually, I popped the bottle, there's really not a lot of smoke. Now, um, I go ahead for the pour. It actually pours really smooth. I get about a finger or so ahead. Now I'm noticing the bottom, I know you really can't see it here, but um, there's actually a lot of carbonation, and this is definitely a wheat beer, because it's cloudy. Not as cloudy as some of the other beverages I have, but it's actually relatively cloudy. Now um, go for a little bit of smell. I get more of a lemon smell more than anything else, and I'm going back looking at the reviews here, like um, like the first one, the first review that popped up was done back in January 2014. It said it's sweet and grainy, banana, a little bit of spice, and lemon. Now, I don't, I do smell some spices, but I don't necessarily smell the banana. Now, um, go for a little taste. Now, Lush fans, the first thing, the, it hit the tip of my tongue, and it definitely went numb. But not numb in like a bad way, like you're getting your teeth pulled numb. But it's like you just hit it, and it seems like your, my tongue is taking a lot of time to adjust to it. Um, it's definitely very carbonated, at least to me. Now, if you had it before, please let me know. I'd like to know your opinion on this. Um, I don't really taste it. Well, yeah, now it is. Now I taste it. Now I start to taste that lemon and coriander. The coriander is a little bit off in the background. That lemon just popped up on that second sip. Excuse me. So I don't know if that was by design or not. Um, but I do get a lot of carbonation. Now, understand something, Lush fans. Some people actually like that. I don't know why, but they do. Me personally... Sometimes, especially like the um, like the Ritas, it's just straight overkill. And one thing I'm starting to notice too, because of said carbonation, I'm actually starting to get bloated. And that's never a good thing because I ate right before I did this review. So I know, I know for a fact because I'm not stuffed. Um, honestly, there's really not much else to say about this one. Now... I gotta give it a Chocobu rating. Now I'm gonna have to go with. 
are honestly 2.5 and a lot is because of the carbonation now maybe they'll real if this is discontinued maybe they will re-release this I don't know but this is the first time and probably the only time I'll ever see this but um did a Lush approve you know what it all depends on your palate because some people like it like that carbonation and that and that tingling um, numbness when it first hits your tongue and some people don't this Lush personally does not like it now maybe looking at the bottle again let's assume that this is actually newer than what it states because I'm just going off the copyright and it says best before and it says June July maybe it was made this year I don't know but it doesn't, doesn't tell me anything other than that especially being discontinued with a copyright in 2009 well Lush fans like I said it might be for you it might be might not be for you but like I said this is Ithaca Beer Company's Partly Sunny, and stay tuned for the next edition of Lance the Lush.